Good morning everyone. It's 6 a.m. now and we're already packing up because we're making 12 kilometers today, more than yesterday, and are passing through the town of Cerbere, then across the border town of Portbo, and we have to get to Calera, to the Spanish town, at our camping site. Yesterday we got here at this camping site at the outskirts of Cerbere, set up a tent and then we were in hard time searching for some supermarket to buy the food and we had no luck. All the supermarkets were in the town in three kilometers and all the people were saying that they were closed because it's Monday. So we ate very little for dinner and now we're rushing to town to buy something hopefully and are hoping that our next campsite will be better in this sense and this camping is situated almost at the edge of the cliff where almost all the time the strong winds are blowing but nevertheless we slept well and are ready to go And this was our camping spot for yesterday's night.
several kilometers the hardest ones because when you're hungry you can go very far Hopefully it will be there. I haven't seen before such an unusual lighthouse. It says that it's solar. Very interesting. some fruits and veggies yay finally let's prep some meal in such a beautiful location we even got a bench today this dry puree is a time saver especially when you're stretching it and we're ready to eat we'll be eating some melon first in the season should be tasty It's a very steep uphill, very hard, but hard ways lead to the beautiful destinations, so we just keep going. We are now between two huge railway stations, the French one of Cerbere and the Spanish one of Porbo, exactly on the Spanish-French border. And somewhere there in this direction, in Pyrenees range, is our home, Yivia. That's so cool. This route is super hard with the heavy backpacks, so not recommend to go there, go over it.
here the GoPro camera would be of a great help because it's so hard to film and to keep a good balance at the same time and also there are lots of spiky plants so really easy to catch one Lots of unstable ground and falling rocks here. Good for training balance. Somewhere there in these places should be lots of caves. But I guess you could get there only on your yacht. just talking about that when you have cloudy cold and gloomy days you want the sun to come out and now when you're sweating like crazy you want the clouds to come out and the wind to blow we guess that the human nature that's all Great trail. We 
just left the little pretty town of Porpo and now all is left for us is to go over this big mountain and we're at our destination Colera. This is the hottest day of our hike. Hope we have enough water till the end. We almost arrived at our camping site and our hiking trail is over for today. What did you like the most about it? 
fantastic place for hiking and walking. It's very well worth the visit. I have never been such a place before. Yeah, of course, we sweat like crazy and it was very hot. In some places it was quite extreme, but very cool overall. We enjoyed it a lot. Hope you too. And see you tomorrow. Until then, bye. If you like this video, give it a thumbs up so that we can create similar content in the future. Subscribe to our channel and hit notification bell to stay up to date with our adventures. You can find us on Instagram, Facebook and Twitter as well if you'd like to stay in touch. Hope to see you very soon in our next video.